On my perfect day, I get up around nine, maybe later. I live in a small but cozy house full of warmth and definitely some chaos. I live with people I love and occasionally enjoy my own company. I am lying on the floor listening to a whole album of George Smith, reading some gorgeous novel I can really sink my teeth into. I take care of my two pets, my cat, and of course an anthropomorphized version of my artistic soul. <laughs> my sister sent me this comic when I made the decision not to go to art school. It used to be a ball, now it's a reminder that I made better choices later on in life. I live for my passion of telling stories and collaborate with others to tell theirs, maybe even ours. I work with beings of light, people whose souls float through the world so beautifully, so tender and delicate, with others' pain, dreams, and their being, their humanity. They are expansive in their creativity, in their life. My friends and I hype each other up and hold a soft place to land when our hearts are weary. I get to spend an unscheduled amount of time with them in their presence, in their essence. My perfect day isn't bound by the clock after all. It's a whole universe of enough. Enough time, enough space, enough energy, resources, connection, trust, no rush. We are partners in crime, sharing love and intimacy that feels like soft summer rain and a warm inner sun. My friends' hearts are full, their stomachs filled with promise and possibility and their mouths are wide open for the world, ready to share words that could alter the fabric of life for the better. We've leaned into our power and has tilted the world. As I look at them, I notice they seem rested and healthy from top to bottom, beaming from the inside out for the first time in a long time. As the day moves, we go on exploring and going on adventures, spontaneous and without limitations or fear, and very few practical considerations. Once we get hungry, we share a decadent meal, bursting with flavor and texture. Simple joys are appreciated, and we can stretch our dreams to satisfaction, daydream beneath the stream of constant responsibility. On this perfect day, there are no difficulties, no obstacles to tear through, no amount of wobbling plates to hold up all at once. In fact, we simply flow through the day with an ease. I feel so alive, like I have learned to photosynthesize the energy of the sun straight into my veins. I am free of want, so enamored by the present moment I forget I could ever want something more or something else. My life is full to bursting, and I am light with relief and certainty that I've chosen well, intentionally and correctly. There's dancing and singing and full-bodied belly laughs that I'm sure even the stars can hear. My vulnerability has opened shafts of light where magic can pour in. I allow it to exist like I breathe now, no more shame. I can fly and play with the air currents the way I've always seen birds do, the way I've always wanted to free. And when the time comes and a day does eventually end, we gently land at port where we can go home, lay our heads and replay this perfect day as we rest. <laughs>